Hey, this is Ronnie. Yeah. My garage, it's still like 48 degrees outside. I believe it's like 6.20 uh, Sunday evening. I don't know what day it is. Well, let me look at my watch. Uh, Sunday the 24th. Yeah, right there. I did get a couple of my bright LED lights put up a few weeks ago. The Kia Racer is back on the road. My baby blue uh, strut took a dive after about 320,000 miles KYBs, man. Awesome strut. Uh, and then while I was waiting for the strut, it was bouncing because I kept driving it and it uh, busted the strut mount. And I didn't have time today to make a video of how you do that. But basically to get the strut towers down in here. <laughs> See, I pull out all the seat and everything else and all my junk I had. I had twice that much stuff because it's my work car. You know, inside my car down there. But yeah, well, that's cool, Aaron. But yeah, oh well. That's because I got good lights. But I just got done road testing it. It's awesome! Working again. Yeah, baby. Over 400,000 miles on this Kia, Sophia. And they're all hard miles, man. You love it. But here, here's one I show you. Uh, this is, you know, simple stuff that just makes me smile. I'm happy. No cuts on my hands today whatsoever. Anywhere. And I forgot to put on my gloves. Because it was warm enough outside. It was like 56 in the sunshine here. And uh, I'll tell you a trick. I said the strut was shot. And then because the strut was shot before I got one in that I ordered. It, it uh, hammered so hard it broke the strut mount. Now to do that. To replace the strut. When you have a broken strut mount. The only way you're going to get that strut out of there. You have to put a spring compressor on the upper spring and compress it down first because when the strut mount breaks, the, the whole inside of the strut goes way up through inside under here. But yeah, 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 that's pretty cool. But there, there's a clue to that. If you have a strut mount that breaks and you need to replace that and the, you have to put a spring compressor uh, three different arms. I got by with two because there's no you're going to fit with three. You just got to make it work. I've never had to do that before. I've always replaced struts when they were just getting bad. But I had to order them. I said I've never broke a strut mount at the same time when I had a bad strut. But there's my baby racer, baby boo. Used to be puke green Kia originally. <laughs> uh, paint left over from painting a straight truck for a farmer. And it's still staying on 15 years ago. <laughs> Didn't, but yeah, she's rusting out. But hey, it's still going. 400,000 miles plus. Can't beat that. Now here is, uh, I'm happy as hell. Everything is still working fine. I got in before it got it done. Yeah. Pardon me, I'm drinking and I'm going to light me a smoke too. But I probably, ah, I'll wait. Here's a kicker after I have a good day. I've had these laying around. Yeah, yeah, there's my work clothes and stuff in there, and boom, and it's going, you know, in my shop. I need to clean it up a little. I need to get wood in. Snowstorm's hitting in two days. But now here's a kicker. I'm happy as hell. If I'm good and everything, I had to repair it, but I got it all going again. It wasn't that awfully expensive. Uh, I have never had a vehicle in my lifetime that was so cheap to drive as this car and the beating it takes. I said it's got over 400,000 miles on this. <laughs> little piece of all gravel can you tell I bought it wrecked in the front uh, when it had 72,000 on it and it's been totaled twice since then and I didn't do either one of them but yeah, hook a tractor to it pull the ass end back out see how the trunk and the gap here is spread that's from getting ass planted at 40 mile an hour and yeah, yeah. Messed up the trunk lid and the bumper. Yeah, you just hook a tractor in a tree on one end, a tractor on the other, and start pulling. Hell yeah, it works. It's awesome. But here's, here's I said, just the simplest stuff you can find will make you happy. Like, I didn't cut my hands today, and I got it done. And it was very difficult, uh, you know, uh, putting a compressor and stuff on that. 
underneath, up under here is where the strut is, but I don't have the light turned up. But here, here's what's cool. Now you guys are going to think I'm a freak and I love every minute of it. I got, there's my antenna. The guy that shattered my back window out, stoned on coke and crack and shit, uh, tried to break my antenna off and then was going to hit me with it while I was still in the car, but it didn't work. The key antennas were tougher than he fucking thought. And uh, here, here's the kicker. Uh, this is so cute. I came across these online looking for my, oh, my Hawaiian lady. The dancing lady. My Kia, my hula girl. If you can see her. Yeah, look. <laughs> I got my hula girl on my dash. She likes it. She dances a hell of a lot. On these rough, crappy roads out here, yeah, call me crazy. I just think those were cute from what and I found one. Cool as hell. All right, now, what else uh, I was finding? I wanted an antenna cactus. I wanted an antenna cactus they used to have around Arizona everywhere back in the 80s when I was running trucks through there a lot. And guess what? Now if you find one of them old-style cactus that slides over your antenna, they're like $65 because they're like collector's items and people steal them right away anyway. So I was looking into China stuff that I could put something on my antenna and I came across this. This is so cute. This is just so freaking cute. Check this out. Is this a little styrofoam ball? Piggy! I hold hogs. I got videos on the ice. That's when I was hauling hogs. Little pig, Yee. got the big old pig butt and the little ears and shit, just cute as shit. Well, that is gonna go on top of my antenna, and uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna see how long my little piggy stays my antenna if I go to Walmart or somewhere and then it gets stolen. All right, <laughs> but this is so freaking cool. Oh, uh, I don't know. I said this antenna's been bent, smashed. It's a plastic window because, yeah, uh, long story short, uh, the cops don't like me because my former wife wouldn't bang all of them when she's banging everybody else. And I don't have the cash flow to pump money up the crooked bastard's asses. i got to figure out how to turn my light on here. Can I do that? Oh, now I can see. All right, I, I cannot pause it. I don't know why. Oh, piggy. Sorry, little piggy. Ah! Damn it. I'm trying to do this one hand. Ah, there we go. My little piggy. But we're not going to make him looking backwards. Or should we have him looking backwards and like mooning everybody going down the road coming at you and smiling everybody going by? Ah, better turn him around. Better turn my little piggy around, see if the little piggy will handle the ice storm we're going to have in two days. But there you go. <laughs> I got a smiley face dude on my uh, pickup, but that's up high enough nobody could really steal it, and it's just a smiley face. I'm curious to see how long it takes for somebody to steal my little pig. <laughs> that's so damn cute. Call me crazy. I just think it's so freaking neat. We'll see how much. It seems to be put together pretty good. Ah, oh, that was me. Yeah, it's just cute as shit. <laughs> just stuff like that. Find something happy, make you smile. I wonder how long that damn thing's going to remain on my antenna until somebody swipes it. You know, because uh, my link in here, uh, I have... Uh, this is no bullshit. I got light. I don't got many lights on it. There's my valve stem. I have chrome valve stem covers on it. Guess what? That one's got a black one. The other side's got a black one. I'm down to one. Chrome valve stem cover. Fuckers in the parking lots. When I go to grocery stores and shit, whenever I come out, I'm missing the steel fucking five dollars for four chrome valve stem covers they steal the bastard so i'm curious to see how long it's gonna take for somebody to steal my little piggy off my antenna because on my four-wheel drive pickup the height is way up here they most people that are thieves are short <laughs> no offense and, and uh that's how they can hide between the vehicles and they don't get caught <laughs> 
You know, they can't reach up high enough on my pickup. But yeah, there's my little pig. Yeah, yeah, and there's my Budweiser. Here's my garage. I got some wood in there. I got to clean the mess up. It's almost Thanksgiving. And I got uh, Thanksgiving Day off. And then a couple days through the weekend, it's supposed to be snow and cold and crap. But fire up the wood burner. And I got to put an axle shaft in my blue Ford pickup up here. Let me show you. Oh. Trying to do this, sorry about the crappy bin. Right there. Yeah, the old blue. The one I found on the road dead, the Ford. The old 84. My play toy. I don't care what the body looks like. She's really solid as shit now. But I gotta put an axle shaft uh, into that four wheel drive axle there. Which I do have already. No big deal. But I can use it the way it is in four wheel drive. But yeah, there's my little blue baby and my twin brother swung by today. I guess it's deer hunting season and he said he got a nice big 4x4. Four four. Why are you driving your Lincoln? Uh, because this is my Lincoln. It's not a freaking work car. This car does not go out in the crap and it's going to stay as beautiful as I can keep it. Even though it's all dusty now in the garage, it's going to stay as beautiful as I can keep it till the day I die. It's a 2005 and I don't plan on buying another one. I plan on keeping this one. <laughs> so we'll see if a 2005 Lincoln will last 50 years plus. 2005, 2055, that would make me... Oh yeah, this puppy's got to last me at least six years. And then I'm going to be 125 years old before I have to kick the bucket. Unless somebody kills me off first because I ain't paying attention and, and some idiot blasts a stop sign or something. Which, come close to me and my little car, the fucking idiot, the big old truck, fucking last week. But I ain't gonna get into that. I know who it is. I seen them and I came across them before and they got the point. Don't ever fucking do that again. Think about killing me, you motherfucker. I'll come kill you first if you don't kill me. <laughs> and that's not no threats that's just fucking talking but you know fuckers if you're driving out in the country and there's nobody ever at a corner you better assume there's somebody coming from that fucking corner the other way that ain't thinking that there's anybody at that corner alrighty man yeah it's a new day tomorrow uh, go back to work it's snow's supposed to hit Tuesday mmm That'll be interesting. I need to clean up my shop a little. But I did get my little blue eraser <laughs> going again, man. I said, this, this thing used to be puke green. That's just like a... I can't believe the paint job stayed on this thing for over 15 years now. I didn't. I just barely scuffed it, taped it, and painted it one day. I was tired of puke green because it had a purple fender that I had to fix when it got hit and stuff the first time. When I bought it. But there you go. Simple things. Like that. <laughs> it's so fucking cute. That just makes me smile every time I see that. Now I finally got it. It's been sitting in my house for like two weeks. We'll see how long it takes for somebody to steal my little piggy. I hope they don't. I hope that. I know at work they won't. But yeah, you know, I go to Walmart or somewhere. And yeah, fuckers will lift shit like that because you gotta buy them from China. You can't buy them anywhere around here. It was a like a dollar. Yeah, cool. You know, like my uh, dancing Hulu lady. That was like fifteen bucks. But yeah, just stop. By. Look how cute that is. Who in the hell can't smile when you look at that cute little motherfucker? Pardon my language. On your antenna when you're walking up to it to get in your car. <laughs> just cute as shit. Got the big old piggy butt and a piggy tail. <laughs> it just matches. Ah, oh, that's so cool. All right, man. Love y'all. Tomorrow's a new day. Remember that. There's always something beautiful around you. You just have to take the time to find it. And I had a really good day today. Didn't get my hands cut. Nothing got everything fixed, even though it was complicated and didn't go the way I wanted. But, hey, took a little extra time, but it's all working. There's always tomorrow. If you can't get done today, 
put off forever. <laughs> ah, you got to catch up to it sometime. But man, got to take some time for yourself. But when it's time to go, you know, it's go time, then get after it. And if shit hits the fan, maybe get after it next week. But never give up on it, man. But yeah, that is so cute. <laughs> All right, I'm just rambling, but that is so cute. I'm just smiling like a motherfucker, but I don't have my teeth in, so I ain't going to show you what I look like after working on shit for four hours and playing with my little pig. <laughs> it's so cute. Love y'all, man. Tomorrow's a new day. I'll talk to you later. I love you forever. Everyone that ever watches and even you haters. It's all good, man. As long as you're honest and tell the truth, we can agree to disagree and be who we are. I don't have to impress no motherfucker but myself. That's what I know. <laughs> cool breeze. Have a good one. Love y'all. Bye.